Hey guys, welcome back to Power Forge and Workshop. Today I'm going to do an unboxing video. I've got my first supply of BT30 related tool holders, um, some tools, um, and, and a vise. And I ordered this from a gentleman named Curtis Payne. Uh, he runs a website. I believe it is bt30tools.com. I'll put a link in the description below. Um, without further ado, let's get on with it. So, uh, first of all, the, the shipment came quite quickly. Uh, I think it took a few days. Curtis was very responsive. He sent me an email um, the day I ordered it and said he'd get it out pronto, and he did. And uh, I actually didn't know how many packages I was going to get. He sent me two uh, UPS tracking numbers, and I ended up getting one, two, three, four, five different boxes. One, two, three, four, five different boxes. Yeah. So... Let's start from the smallest and go to the biggest and see what he has sent us. And I will ramble along as I as I open this up. So I I bought this Sile X7 without having any tooling. Okay? So I'm starting from scratch. He had two packages uh, beginner packages on his website for people who have never used or don't, don't have anything and I I, <laughs> I I looked at one and bought the other actually there was one for two three thousand dollars I think then it came with everything I'd need um, mostly I believe it was all ER32 collets with the tools that went in them um, and I went back to, to buy, bought, buy it and I bought the other one which was about eighteen nineteen hundred dollars is what I spent for all of this stuff and let's see here but that's okay i can get the rest of the tools that i need later ah so these are the collets let's pull them all out and see what i got go away give me a second and i will organize these okay so i've got a one eighth, one quarter, three eighths, one half, throw a three sixteenths in there, throw a five sixteenths in there, three quarter, five eighths and three quarter. Boom. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight collets. Let's set those aside. All right. Next box. From Curtis Payne and I met this gentleman well I guess I haven't met him but I was referred to him through a gentleman that is also on a Sile Facebook group well they're both on the Facebook group so Jeff Dossier I reached out to Jeff and said hey um, do we get a discount anywhere on the, any of this and he's like yeah you I recommend Mari Tool, or as a matter of fact, you should hit up Curtis Payne, look at his website, and see if he's got any good deals. And so, since since Curtis, you're you're part of the community, I'm I wanted to throw some love your way. All right, so wow, this is pretty. So Diamond BT30 ER3270. This looks like I call it Chuck. It's my first BT32 tool ever. Ooh. The smell of that oil is wonderful. So there is this beautiful Chuck. I don't know if you can see that. Beautiful. Thank you. All right. Okay, let's count these up. And these are the retention knobs. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve retention knobs. And one, two, probably twelve of these. Then 
There's six. There's nine. And there's 12. Beautiful. And a collet wrench. Okay, let's make some room. Here's Curtis' card. Okay. Box number three, or package number three. Oh. Okay. What we have here, ladies and gentlemen, is a 58-piece deluxe steel clamping kit. It includes various sizes of studs, coupling nuts, flange nuts, step clamps, T-nuts, and step locks. And I'll be honest, my only concern is I hope that these T-nuts fit the T-slots on the mill. If not, if not, if not, if not, I actually am planning on buying a, a manual vertical mill and I'm sure that will fit the T-slots on that mill. So good, good purchase either way. Okay, second to last box. I think I know what this is. I'm gonna leave it here. I believe this is the flood coolant mixture. Yep, this, this is Metalloid, Metalloid Advance. Heavy duty botanical metalworking grinding coolant. Awesome. for industrial machining, grinding, and metal forming. Okay, that just leaves uh, the final box, which is the safe, or <laughs> that just leaves the final box, which is the vise. Whew, this looks heavy. Okay, well, so truth be told, Curtis, if you're, if you're listening to this or, or whomever is listening, I actually ordered a two position uh, vise from MLOC, uh, the 125 series, I believe it's five inch with, with uh, dual clamping positions. But again, I am gonna get another vise um, and I'll need a vise for, for that vertical mill, the manual mill. I want to get a smaller uh, manual mill for the shop as well. So it's, it's money well spent either way. And, and yeah, right? Who can say no to an extra tool? Let's see, how is this put together? Tell you what, this is very well crated. Ah, right there, okay. Let's open this up. Okay. Let's 
Nothing a buck knife can't handle, all right? This is a Loctite precision machine vise. And there you go, let's see. And it looks like it has mounting brackets here and then a rotating top portion, which I like. Easier to chew up the vise that way, I think, as I've been learning in my, in my class. This is a big vice. It looks like it's got a fair amount of, is that cosmoline? We'll see. Yeah. It's just, I think it's waxed paper. Pull this out. Okay, and in the top here, what do we have? We've got mounting brackets, or bolts, rather. And a vice handle. And I even like the color. Orange is awesome. Orange is cool. this it's pretty sexy it reminds me of the Kurt vice that I've been using on the bridge port at school well Let's hope it, uh, well, I'm sure it'll get the, the job done. Yeah. Well, this should clean up and work nicely. I tell you what though, I love the orange handle. That's cool. Very cool. Yeah, a little bit of uh, lubrication. This is pretty. And uh, so I mentioned in the photo that it had a swivel top base, but this does not have a swivel top base, but that's okay. This is a different vice on the picture of that manual. Pretty stout. All right, wonderful. All right, well, there you have it. This is my big haul from bt30tools.com. These are the first tools that I've ever purchased, purchased for the Sile X7 vertical machine mill, all BT30 oriented. We've got a big hefty vise, 
the steel clamping kit. We've got some, some flood coolant to keep our tools cool. Um, I've already placed another order with uh, Meritool. I think that's how you pronounce it, Meritool, for a few end mills. Um, I'm just going to go slow every month. I'll, I'll get a few more. Uh, I've got to go slowly and figure out uh, exactly how I want to build out my tools. Um, these are ER32 collets, so I imagine that I will be buying uh, end mill collets as needed and then smaller uh, ER collets for, uh, well, just, you know, as I, as I uh, grow my tool library. Um, so a big shout out to uh, uh, Curtis Payne. Thanks for taking care of me. Thanks for getting, getting me out here. This was a great first step into the CNC world. And uh, yeah, I'm pleased. Again, thanks for tuning in. We'll catch you next time.